Item 5. In Tuesday's plenary, legislators blocked an attempt by the Minister of Public Service, Wilson Maruli Mukasa, to table the rationalization of government agencies, repeals and amendments bill 2023. They rejected the omnibus bill, arguing that the process needed the amendment of several laws since most of the affected agencies were created by an act of parliament. Now governance experts say the process of rationalization of government agencies is long overdue. When you are running a country like Uganda, which is really stuck in terms of the econo in terms of the economy, in terms of the service delivery, in terms of the pain that citizens are feeling, you 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 basically want to be more expeditious in the way you do you engage in these reforms. But now that they have come to this point, I think that's a good development. They are also glad that despite the delays in implementation of the decision to rationalize, the executive is finally taking practical steps. This is the long-awaited move, and uh, I'm happy that it has finally happened. The question is how long will the rationalization bill take before parliament? Can it be fast-tracked? Dr. Fred Muhumuza, a development economist, argues that rationalization of government agencies will to some degree reduce public expenditure. We all know that the government budget is constrained and we are having a lot of uh, borrowing to pay the debt but also to maintain some of these institutions whose work can still be done at the same cost given that there are quite a number of uh, provisions within government that can deliver uh, the same services. But will it automatically increase efficiency in service delivery? The experts hold that, unless the reforms are conducted from the executive to the grassroots level, the desired efficiency and saving may not be realized. This tired, corrupt, inefficient bureau political bureaucracy is what we need to reform. Because once you reform that, by the way, even the reforms in the public service bureaucracy will, will now have more effect. For me, this should be the beginning. We merge back agencies that are not engaged in income generating activities. Next step should be the political bill. Let's reduce the size of parliament by half. Let's reduce the size of cabinet by half. NTV spoke to members of parliament. This merger should also come in downsizing the entire government structure. Downsizing parliament, downsizing, uh, uh, removing RDCs, reducing uh, cabinet ministers, so that the resources can now go into productive sector of the economy. And the truth of the matter is that most of the members here, even if we are beneficiaries uh, of uh, the bloated parliament, would be in support of reducing on the size of parliament. Benjamin Jumbe, NTV. Honorable members.